playing on a playground. It's absolutely beautiful weather outside and it's a great place to make memories. A new playground in Des Moines is now making that a possibility for so many more kiddos with the help of Variety. Yes! <laughs> When you hear that sound, you can't help but smile. Oh, no. <laughs> Drew Schneider could spend hours at the new Riverview Park. One, two, three. But his mom Meg says, not at every park. In a, an average playground, there may be one thing that he could engage with, and here it's darn near everything. Drew uses a wheelchair. In traditional park design, for example, the way that parks were built, my son would literally have to just sit there and watch everyone else play, which isn't cool. Too many obstacles. We're used to going to parks where, where there are wood chips underneath, and that's a challenge for someone that is using a wheelchair for mobility or, um, you know, there are stairs within the playground itself. Can you do it with me? Not Riverview. It's an all-inclusive playground in the city of Des Moines, thanks to Des Moines Parks and Rec and help from Variety, the children's charity. We always say in our profession, you know, we're making memories that last a lifetime, and people often forget about folks with disabilities, and that's not right. So we, we took it upon ourselves to go find a partner like Variety. It's nothing sadder than to see a child that can't use a piece of a playground, a piece of a park equipment. So this is a game changer for Des Moines. <laughs> Variety continues to be an important partner for the city for more than a decade. <laughs> I'd hate to think about if there was no Variety out there because we wouldn't have this. There'd be kids that didn't get swim lessons that couldn't go to youth sports. There's not the right words to put together how important Variety is to me and to our team and to the city of Des Moines. <laughs> The location also has major significance in this neighborhood. This was the first amusement park in the state of Iowa. It was had its run on its course of life through the 70s. It went away and it became a dilapidated, derelict piece of property in the city. People weren't proud of it. We weren't proud of it as a city. So they've taken some of the history, a roller coaster. Pull me all the way up, Mom. The crazy mouse and turned it into something all kids of all abilities can actually use. He is just like every other six-year-old boy. He's he's silly and he loves to play. And having an environment like this makes him just like everyone else, which is, again, a real gift because he has dozens of things that come at him every day that make him feel different. So it's nice and that can be erased a bit and he can just be out there playing with the other kids. Just let him be a kid. I love that so much. And it is so fun to see the joy on their faces. I do want to stress again, this is a playground for everyone. And Ben Page with Des Moines Parks says this will likely be the busiest playground the city has. I know I plan on taking my kids there. It's going to be gorgeous weather in the next couple days to do just that. And don't forget to watch the Variety Telethon Spotlight. It's tomorrow on Local 5 and CW Iowa from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock tomorrow night.